Hi everyone, my name's Jane and this is Loopy Mabel's Closet. Today's video is all about this pretty little top I've just made, literally made it yesterday, hot off the sewing machine. I've just designed a slightly different neckline on it and I thought I'd share it with you and a few little things I thought would go quite well to complement and make different outfits with. So if you're interested, I would love it if you could stay tuned and grab a coffee and I shall see you back here very shortly. <music> Hi, welcome back and I'm a bit late today with my video. Today is Sunday, I'm filming this and normally I have my Sunday vlogs filmed on Fridays ready to be uploaded for Sunday but I'm a little bit behind schedule so fingers crossed I can still get it edited and it out today but let's see. Um, yeah so I've been playing about with this gorgeous jersey. This is the jersey, one of the jerseys I got from Felicity Fabrics I got four in total and I got three plain and I got this gorgeous floral jersey fabric which has got the most gorgeous um, detail on it. It looks like uh, tapestry stitching but it's not, it's obviously printed into the fabric but, but it looks like it's really been hand embroidered like tapestry style. I don't know that you can quite catch that there on the camera. I'll stand up in a minute and I'll show you a little bit closer or up. But I just thought, yeah, let's make something with this fabric. And obviously I got a metre and a half. I got a metre and a half of all three of the fabrics. I'll pop the vlog to, I'll pop the card uh, for that vlog up there and a little picture so you can see the shades that I got. I've still got those three plain ones to cut out and make. They're all going to be made into something very, very similar to this because I am short of a few of these long sleeve tees because I wear them all the time. I don't know whether you're the same as me. I wear them all the time. Great for the autumn, winter. Just great layering pieces. So I've got my own knit block and just the average knit block sleeve in the front and the back. So I traced around the block and I just thought, let's do something a little bit different than putting the band on. Let's raise the neck so it's like a built-in type of higher neck. So this literally is built in so it's just three pieces a front a back and the sleeves and there's nothing extra on the neck it's just extended and then when you stitch it you like stitch it inside to fold it down and it just gives you that lovely raised neck effect and I really like it originally I was going to do it for a six and a half centimeter like rise shall we say but then I thought oh maybe it's going to be a little bit too high on my neck and it might annoy me because I love high neck tops I like the polo neck tops, but as long as they're just the short polo neck tops, I don't like the ones that come right up here. I just feel all day long that it's, you know, like in the way. I would wear something like that if I was going out for like a nice country winter walk, as you do. I would wear something like that because obviously to keep the layer and keep the draft off your neck, but not for something like around the house all day long. It would, I think, it would drive me, drive me crazy. So I thought, well, I won't do it that high. I shall lower it down. This, this is all suck it and see with me, literally drew round the template on some paper and I just thought let's try something different so I literally went for this neckline I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out I lowered it so it was just four centimeter in total so it's like a four centimeter height on top of your normal crew neckline I really love it because it's the kind of the high neck look without that extra bit stitched on so I'm really pleased how it's turned out so all the way around and obviously I'll pop some pictures up of me wearing it in the garden but this fabric is just absolutely gorgeous really is lovely now I did this obviously my size and it's I would say I'm a size 12 38 bust about 29 waist and 39 hips so size 12 and it's a lovely lovely fit obviously this is based on my size so the block is just perfect for me and yeah, I really like it. So I'll stand up and show you in a bit of detail. So it's a nice length. I've just got it tucked in. So it's a lovely net length. And nicely fitted. So it's lovely for layering. There's no extra fabric going on, which can sometimes get in the way if you like to, lo uh, if you like to layer your, your outfits. And, um, and then I also got my cover stitch out, blew the dust off my cover stitch because I haven't done any cover stitching for, oh, maybe six weeks now. 
and cover stitched the hem and obviously the wrist and I'm really pleased really pleased with it and I'll show you like I say I had a meter and a half of fabric and that's all that was left you get very little waste that's all that's left from my meter and a half of fabric and this is earmarked this big chunk piece and possibly this long piece for my knicker scrap box and when I need some new knickers making this is going to be perfect I'll probably get a pair of knickers definitely get a pair of knickers out of this and also maybe a couple of gussets too for other other knickers whatever I always save my jersey scraps if there's plenty on there to get at least even if there's not enough to get some knickers always there's, there's normally some scrap somewhere where you can get a couple of gussets out of so that's all that's left and again I'll show you close up just so you can see the detail it looks like it's been hand stitched how fab is that now I know this sold really well on Felicity Fabrics and I'm not sure whether it's still in stock uh, but certainly worth having a look. I'll put the link to their fabulous website and this is called, well funnily enough, this is called Embroidery Flowers and it's a cotton, cotton jersey and yeah as you can see it's a like digital design so that's how they get that lovely effect. So that's all that's left so that will be going in my knicker bin i've got one of these one of these bins where am i I've got a few of these bins i've got one of these bins which is just full of scrap jerseys for me to make future knickers down the line i absolutely love making my own knickers now never buy another pair of knickers again i can't ever see me doing that I know you can get, like I've said this many, many times, I know you can buy a pack of five or a pack of ten from Tesco or from Primark for ridiculous price, five quid, eight quid, whatever. And I know that, but it's, for me, it's all about the experience, the just the sewing, just the sewing and having going in that little zone and just making, being creative and making something to add to my wardrobe that I've made and then I can wear. I absolutely love that feeling when I put my own knickers on in the morning and think, yeah, I've made them and no one's going to see them but you know you know that lovely feeling that you have with anything in your wardrobe in fact when I put things on I just think I've made this and I think most of my wardrobe now I haven't bought a single piece of clothing for must be over a year now I'll have to think about that one if I have I can't think what it was and my wardrobe is I would say 80% handmade now it's lovely when I open my wardrobe on the morning and yeah 80% of it is my creation and I've still got 20% obviously bought which is going to stay there until it drops to bits and then obviously it's going to go or it's going to go to the charity whichever way whichever comes first and then eventually hopefully one day I might have a 100% wardrobe but I'm not going to get like two hung up over that I mean if I see something that's absolutely stunning or gorgeous on the high street then you know I'm not going to say I'm never going to buy anything but yeah at the minute I'm not interested I'm interested in doing my own stuff so I thought I'd share this design with you and I just thought it's just something a little bit different to the normal crew neck the other three fabrics that I've got obviously I'm going to be cutting into them today hopefully and either making some more of this style or just some more of the the normal crew neck with the band so I've got a, a selection and I thought right so I've made this top what's it going to go with obviously it just goes great with my jeans got my jeans on today but obviously I like to be able to get plenty of use out of it and I love to shop my wardrobe on a morning I get so excited when I wake up on a morning and get you know get washed brush my teeth then I think right what well, I'm going to wear today open my wardrobe and think right what what can I wear what outfit can I create that I never thought of before and because this has got so many colours in it and I think that's one of the reasons one of the main reasons why I like my floral my ditzy floral floral fabrics because you get so usually you get so many colours you, you just do and I think that's one of the reasons because you can pick out those colours and you can create different outfits depending on the colour that you've chose and it's just so much fun I think it's really good fun I'm, I'm really loving it so the only thing that I've, I could literally shop my wardrobe with at the moment with this top now 
is my Maria apron by Maven Patterns. Absolutely love this apron. I made this probably, oh, this is probably year, coming up for year two when I made this. And this is a linen, a linen viscose medium weight fabric and in this turquoise. And I thought this will go really nice. And I thought this will go really nice. It'll pick out the turquoise and blues that's in the fabric. But I've noticed I'm going to have to send it to the hospital because I've got a little bit of stitching coming away on my straps. It's funny actually because when I was wet, when I wore this last, my granddaughter grabbed hold of my apron and you know as I do, and I heard like some stitches pop. Never thought any more about it, and that must have been the stitches there popping. I mean, it's not her fault. Obviously, it wasn't stitched in properly anyway. I kind of caught it in properly, so I'm going to do a little bit of repair work on that just to put it back to how it should be. So that's a little job I'm going to do as well, probably this afternoon. Won't take me very long at all. So, but I thought that would go really nice with that. So there's one outfit I've got, and then. Went through my fabrics, quite a lot of fabrics going on on my shelves. I seriously need to start sewing with them. I don't know whether anybody's like me. I love fabrics and I get the fabrics and fold them up, launder them, because I launder them now, I never used to, but I do launder them now, and fold them up, put them on my shelves, colour coordinate them or composition, put them all in compositions or whatever. Play shops as you do, or as I do, and then I don't want to spoil my little shop display and I don't want to like cut into it and spoil it so then I don't I don't end up sewing with it and then I'll get some more fabric because that's what I've seen and think oh that looks nice do the same launder it fold it up play shops it doesn't get cut into and I just thought Jane that is absolutely ridiculous get it cut into get making and then obviously that's the whole point of getting the fabric in the first place so went through my pile of fabrics and these are two of the linens that um, my lovely husband John trekked me to earlier on in the year from the fabric store, the shop that's in New Zealand, well the store that's in New Zealand and they do some amazing linen fabrics and he trekked me to quite a few of the linens. And I, These two colours I think will go really nice with this top and I just think that coordinates really nice with that top. It's like a corally pink, so that might make a really nice pinny for, maybe poppy pinny for, perhaps maybe a nice plain primrose dress. Oh no, that's got the ruffle on the neck, so no, that wouldn't go because that would then hide that neck, so that's not going to go. I think pinny for, so pop, maybe another poppy pinny for, or my newest dress. My Dorothy dress, which is the crossover one, which you haven't seen properly yet. A vlog coming on that soon. Not sure, but I think that will go really nice with that. I just think it really pops, brings out, because this is quite heavy and dark and autumnal. This now, I think this like makes it pop and just lightens it slightly. So there is one option. Well, definitely an option. I'm going to get it sewn. And then this gorgeous, I think it's paprika. I can't remember the name of it now paprika and again this is really rich gorgeous rich autumnal look to it and I think that will go really really nice too so maybe a couple of pinny fours or maybe my Dorothy dress maybe but definitely these two fabrics go really well complement complement this fabric really well so I'm going to get my finger out so definitely going to make something with these two fabrics and then I thought I could complement with some of my crochet accessories. So I found my Charlotte capelet. So I'll just pop this on and give you an idea. So pop that on to give you an idea. Now it does have the duck egg blue in there, but by adding one of my raggy brooches in a similar shading to the top, I just think that works quite well. As an idea, a different option. And then also my two Mabel crochet snugs. So I'll just show you what the Mabels look like. Just unhook my microphone. So 
So this is the blue one, like denim blue, which picks out the blue. And again, I could pop my brooch on and it just brings all those colours together. And I think that looks quite nice too. So there's another idea, just something just transforms the top, gives you a different look. And lastly, my other Mabel, this is obviously in the denim blue. And just another look. So I've got three of my crochet capelets that I can totally mix and match with this top. So if I wanted to have a little bit of extra layer of warmth and I'm not wearing anything on top like the pinafore, I could pop one of these on and create a totally different look and be warm and cosy. So yeah, so that's just another option. So I've got the Mabel in the old gold, like a camel colour. Then I've obviously got it in the denim blue, which goes quite, quite well too with the top. And my Charlotte, that's in the duck egg. I would say that's the furthest away that goes really, but it's a, still an option, still goes. It still has the blues in it to pick it up. So it is an option. And then also I've got my woodland walk capelet. So I'll just show you that. So there's another option, something else I could use. And then the more I looked in my wardrobe, thinking not much is going to go with it apart from my Maria apron, the more I found. So I've got my knitted granddad vest that I did the other week. That could be an option. And also my other knitted granddad vest in this gorgeous burnt orange colour. So I'll try them on and see what we think. And it doesn't look too bad actually. It picks out the, the blues. So there's another option. And if I wanted to, I could even add this brooch to it, definitely, to make it pop. And the last thing is this burnt orange. So I'll just pop that one on. And how well does that go? And I could add that just to bring it all together. Gorgeous, rustic look with warm layers again. So I've got, considering I thought I didn't have much to go with this to start with, I found quite a few things that actually does go. So it just shows you to definitely shop your wardrobe. Sometimes you just, you just don't think of putting that together with that. But if you try it, you could be pleasantly surprised. And that's why I like to add one of my raggy brooches because they do definitely tie in an outfit. Especially if your colour is like, not the best of colours it goes, but kind of goes, or not quite spot on goes. Say for example, the Charlotte, I mean, it does go because it is, there is the duck egg blue in there, but it's not as prominent as maybe some of the other colours. So if you added that to it, it just ties it all together. So I've got quite a few things that goes really well with this gorgeous top. So I've got quite a few of my capelets. I've got quite a decent pile here. So I've got four, four options there. And then I've got my granddad vest in this burnt orange and also in, again, this lovely blue. So not a bad combination. And th I think that would make a fab a fab outfit, that, that, and this top. But either way, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six layering pieces that I never thought about till I looked in my wardrobe, plus my Maria apron, plus two possible pinafore types in these two linens. So that just shows you how much you can actually mix and match and bring together your outfits in your wardrobe. You might think there's nothing that's going to go with that, but don't be so hasty because I bet there is something in your wardrobe that you can incorporate or accessorise with. So I'm quite chuffed actually. So I've managed to make quite a few little outfits and a couple to make. So let me know what you think. 
and as I say, if you can crochet and you fancy having a go at doing some crochet, these, these, all of these crochet snugs, are all tutorials on my crochet channel, step by step. So if you fancy having a go at making some, highly recommend you going over there and checking out the tutorials, and because uh, they're absolutely brilliant just to pop on and keep you warm in the autumn winter. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, a lovely thumbs up. And if you've just found me and you'd like to follow along with me, then please don't forget to subscribe. That would be lovely too. And uh, yeah, lots more coming. I've got a cozy vlog coming. I've also got my sewing directory vlog coming as well. And also more details on my Dorothy wrap dress. So please stay tuned for all those. And obviously follow me on Instagram. You'll be able to see daily posts of my outfits and hopefully inspiration for you too. But until next time, thanks for joining me today. Practice makes perfect. Happy sewing. And I shall see you on my next vlog. Bye for now.